Hello, welcome to Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. Today, friends, we will uh, learn the Laplace transform of uh, t to the power n. We will see here the definition for uh, its Laplace transform and also the proof. So, let's start with the definition of Laplace transform. Since we know that uh, the Laplace transform of any function f of t this is the laplace operator l so the laplace transform of any function f of t is given by integral 0 to infinity e raised to the power minus st f of t dt so here we write the function okay in this case our function f of t at the place of f of t our function is t to the power n here now we will substitute the st with x of this st okay now i will differentiate it with respect to t on differentiating it with respect to t i get s okay differentiation of st would be s since t and x are variables here so with respect to t i have s and uh, equals to dx by dt from this i get dt equals to dx by s or we can also differentiate it with respect to x also we will get the same result in both the cases so, so it's a differentiation with respect to x would be s okay dt by dx equals to 1 okay differentiation of x with respect to x is 1 so here also i get dt equals to dx by s now you see here that uh, the limits in this are of uh, since here it is dt so these limits are from t equals to 0 to infinity now I am going to change it to dx so I will use the limits of x here so let's see when x when t is equals to 0 put t equals to 0 here then x is 0 so the lower limit is 0 and when t is equals to infinity then put t equal to infinity here so i get x equals to infinity so the limits are when t equals to 0 to infinity are same x equals to 0 to infinity so the limits are not changed okay so now let's uh, see so the limits are 0 to infinity the same and e to the power minus here st has been replaced by x okay and this t here t is x by s t is equals to x by s so this t is x by s to, to the power n and uh, dt is replaced by dx by s so it is dx by s okay so now here we have uh, s power of, in denominator we have power of s1 and here it is a power n so i have uh, 1 divided by s to the power n plus 1 in denominator and this integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus x here it is x to the power n this s has been taken out and this remaining dx okay very simple now one important thing that uh, here this uh, 1 divided by s to the power n plus 1 is same here but the important thing is this function this is a function named as gamma function this can be represented as gamma this is the symbol for gamma function gamma of n plus 1 here the conditions are n is greater than minus 1 and uh, s is greater than 0 so the see here that uh, gamma function is defined as this here it is gamma of n it is defined as its definition is integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus x s to the power n minus 1 dx okay if I replace this n by n plus 1 in this if I replace n by n plus 1 then I will get this relationship here in gamma n by n plus 1 0 to infinity e to the power minus x x to the power n plus 1 minus 1 so it is x to the power n dx so if you want to know what is uh, gamma then gamma is nothing but gamma of n is called is the 
factorial n minus 1 factorials another representation is also this so if i want to find the gamma of 7 then gamma of 7 would be factorial 7 minus 1 that is factorial 6 okay so we know what is factorial so we can write that the laplace transform of uh, t to the power n is gamma n plus 1 divided by s to the power n plus 1 as we have seen it or in another way we can write it in terms of uh, uh, factorial instead of uh, in function of gamma we can write it as this as a factorial n since we know gamma n plus 1 is factorial n okay divided by s to the power n plus 1 so this was the laplace transform of g to the power n hope you liked it so if you liked it then please uh, like my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy you can also visit my blog for more information www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com you can see the link in the description of the video thank you for watching bye bye